hi welcome back i don't know why but i get so nervous before i do this um i do want to thank all of my new subscribers i have had so many great comments from all of you um no i have not been watching other youtubers i've been avoiding uh summer wells like the plague because I want to be able to prove to myself more than anything um, that I do have factual information coming from other than YouTubers and new, uh, news programs. Um, I do want to mention though, um, I was, I called in on uh, A.V. Watchman's live, I think it was Tuesday night, and I thought he was going to talk about the boys, um, the California City boys, and when I saw that he was talking about uh, Summer Wells, I took my headphones off, and I walked away from the computer, and I went into the kitchen, and I called him. And I, I explained to him that I, I wasn't going to watch him while he was talking about her. And I explained to him what I was seeing and feeling. And um, that was pretty much that. I, I guess a lot of you have probably seen it. Um, I do watch... AV, I've been with him for quite a while, and um, Jay with AFC Podcast, if you do not know who that is, you need to look him up, because if you care anything about children, you need to watch his show. It's hard to watch, but I mean, half the time I'm bawling my eyes out. Um, but I also get very angry about it. He talks about children, the bad things that happen to them. And, um, it's, it's hard to listen to, but I do love Jay very much. Um, let's see. I did hear something about, okay. I did hear something. I made a few notes. Um, something about the father trying to sell, Summer's father, trying to sell his older kids a long time ago. I heard something about that. I don't know anything about that unless it can be proven or something like that. Um, I'm not even going to go there. Um, because I don't, I don't want to do gossip. Um, let's see. Oh, they, I did see the interview, the mother's interview, because I seen, because when you go to YouTube, to go watch YouTube channels, you scroll through and you see down at the bottom, it'll tell you what it's, what the stories are about. And I saw that the mother did an interview. Well, I wouldn't see that, um, which I shouldn't say it that way. But, um, and like I said before, she was, she was drugged during the interview and she talked about Summer in past tense and she was kind of, and it, it was probably the drugs and, and honestly, if my kid was missing, I would have to be medicated myself because that's, but I don't think, I think I probably would have said, Hey, you know, I, I've had to take something for my nerves or anxiety or something because I'm a nervous wreck or whatever, you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't think that that's what that was. That did not look like 
a anxiety medication. And anxiety medication does not make you like that. It, it, not, not like that. And, and she mentioned something out of the blue in her interview. Something about her swing. And I thought, okay, did she, because with Summer, what I'm getting is like a choking, like, I'm not saying she choked her with her hands or anything, or that maybe it was from a drowning, or, I mean, because I did see her by the water. I don't, I, I, I'm really trying to be really careful exactly what I'm saying. I mean, she could have fell off the swing and I don't know. I don't know. It, but she said something about the swing in that interview. And that's, that stuck out to me. Um, also in the interview, see the dad kept saying the boys are doing so good. They're doing better than us. And it doesn't seem to bother them. And especially the youngest one. And because you would think the younger two would have been the closer ones and the older two would have been closer. And I get that. Um, but the mom says that they cry all the time. They wake up crying. And I'm thinking, okay, are they not sad? Or are they sad? Or I mean, of course they should be. But if they know what happened to her, which I believe they do, um, they probably just kind of have, that's probably why they're not as upset. I mean, as some people would think they should be upset. It, it, it may be because, you know, they, they know what happened to her and in my opinion, but and then also, when I was scrolling, looking for a video to watch that did not have to do with Summer Wells, um, I seen Plunder. Um, I didn't see the video, but I did see where she had um, done a video because the, the title of her video was all I saw, and it said something about they had been, Dawn, Candace and Dawn had been banned from YouTube and TikTok, maybe even Facebook. I'm not sure. Um, I saw that. I didn't look into it, so I don't know what it was except for, um, I don't know, something that they didn't like, YouTube didn't like, and um, I don't make one penny off of YouTube. Never have. I don't care if I ever do. And someone in the comments, because I was, I'm wanting to answer comments, and a lot of times I will just send you guys a message back. Um, someone said, um, I wrote it down. Um, someone said that I must have been watching the news or something, and I said, no, no, I, I mean, no, I haven't. Um, and somebody said something that was really cute. I thought it was really cute. She said, yeah, I recently came out of the broom closet, too. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, the broom closet, that's cute. Um, but, um... If anybody has um, any questions for me or anything like that, I'm, I'm here. So, um, there was something else, too. And I didn't write it down. Um, today is July the 2nd, and it's roughly about 1230 in midnight, you know. Um, 
it's my husband's upstairs snoring and um it's it's really hard for me to sleep at night um and there was a lot of questions also i just remembered that about <clears throat> how long have i been like this <laughs> how long have you been this way um and a lot of questions of have i ever found anybody that was missing no i've hid this i have hid this all my life <clears throat> and my mother and my mother's like this my sis my my daughter's like this i think my sisters could be but we just don't talk about that in the family you know my, my mom she will talk to me about it um but like i've said i haven't talked to my mom in years um and i know that's bad that's really bad um i'm stubborn like my dad he was he was a real stubborn man um In my brain, I am still like 20 years old, even though my body is saying, no, in about two weeks, you're going to be 55 years old. <laughs> I don't feel 55. Um, my body does, but my brain doesn't. <laughs> um, no, I, I have... I have said things to my spouses or, you know, over the years um, about my abilities. You know, not that I said that I had anything. It's just I would say so-and-so is going to call or something is wrong or something's you know it's it's like i think everybody has that ability they just need to listen to it um and as far as since i was on was since i called av watchman uh, the other day um which now it's i guess it's friday now not thursday so it would have been three days ago i guess um, since, since I talked to him, there were some people on there that were asking me questions about the California City Boys. In that case, I don't know why that case is so hard for me. But, if, um, you know, I've talked to my husband about it, and he said, I will get you a ticket to go down there and you do what you need to do. And so I I have I have finally gotten a hold of, of A B and um I will probably be going down there. I mean as as far as I know that's the plan. Um because since then I have been getting so much on those boys. And the only thing is, when when I get there, I really, I need, I don't want, I need to see Ryan Dean. But I don't want her to say anything. I don't want to hear a peep out of her. I just need to talk to her myself face to face and then I want to go see Maya's sister Mary Chris and I want to see Robert and I want to talk to them but you know, I just have all these things in the back of my mind. Um, 
Southern California is going to be so scary. And the reason that I say that is because where I live, I don't go out of my house. I mean, I just, it's a very, very tiny, tiny, tiny town. I mean, we don't even have a stop sign or a stop light. We have a four-way stop. And here, we don't have anywhere to go out and eat except for the bowling alley. There's a frigid cream and a Mexican restaurant. Um, but this town, it's like when there's a football game, the whole town shuts down. And everything is owned and operated by people that live here. So, if they don't want to open, they don't open. And so, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> that's terrible. I know, it, but that's just how it is. I mean, most everything out here is um, cows and wheat and corn and milo. And then I'm going to go into a cesspool of corruption and <laughs> I thought, oh, I'm going to be hanging on the AV like a leech. <laughs> I'm going to be, I, I will, it's going to be scary. It, it's it's going to be an adjustment, that's for sure. But I really do want to help. I I want to help as many people as I can. And so does Jay at the AFC. That's why I say, if you care anything about kids, go to see the AFC podcast with Jay. I mean, you if you care anything about children, you will you will cry. Um and I just, people are going nuts. And I, that's something that I wanted to, um, I want to talk to A.B. about because he's like, well, what's going on? Why is this like this? And I'm like, I can tell you, but I, I can't, I can't tell you just, you know, over the phone. I mean... The reason, the reason why things are getting so bad, and this is my opinion, <laughs> I named my channel right, I guess, it is because right now there is a war going on between good and evil. And when someone does drugs or has a mental illness that they're not treating or that they're trying to treat themselves, it makes it very easy for Satan to step in. And, you know, you see a lot of this stuff on the news that's like, this woman kills her three kids, you know? And, and it, I've seen this on Jay's channel tonight. Two months later, another woman kills her three kids in the same town. And I, I believe it was L.A. And... He's like, I thought I just did this one, but this is a different woman. Well, yeah, I mean, these women, they probably had some kind of, there's something, they say that it was because of, um, you know, fighting for custody and, 
that has nothing to do with it. It has to do with evil getting in and they do things and people do things and they do things to each other. And there is a cure for this, <clears throat> which is going to be another, another video because it's, and then it, it's all going to be in my opinion, uh, like everything else. Um, I'm just afraid to say too much. Um, I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to, because I do all this on my phone. I don't know how to do a lot of computer stuff, which I don't have a computer. I have a, a iPad. So I can't, I don't know how to bring up like um, news clips and pictures of other people or I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Um, so I guess with me, you kind of get what you get and hope for the best. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It does seem kind of crazy the way things are getting but there is a solution there there is um i want to thank everybody who has subscribed and watched and they give me an approval even though summer hasn't been found yet and I think it's going to be a while. I think it's going to be a while before she's found. But I don't think that it's going to take a body to make an arrest. I think there's getting ready to be some arrests being made. At least two, probably three. I just feel sorry for those little boys, you know? So, thanks for watching.